I'm Amy Cherry. We've got several Veterans Day ceremonies to tell you about. This morning at 10 a.m., Flagler County will kick off the weekend with a ceremony at the Flagler County Government Services Building in Benel. Flagler County Colonel Gary Decay will announce the Veteran of the Year. In Flagler Beach, they're hosting a celebration at Veterans Park at 1 p.m. Mayor Linda Preventure will start things off and introduce the 2016 Flagler County Veteran of the Year. This Saturday at Heroes Memorial Park in Palm Coast, U.S. Rep. Ron DeSantis will speak, along with Colonel Jack Howell of the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Chapter 808. Palm Coast Mayor Melissa Holland will also speak. The Navy Band Southeast will perform the Star-Spangled Banner and Taps. The Palm Coast Fire Department Honor Guard, as well as the Coastal Florida Police and Fire Pipes and Drums will present the colors. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. I leave on Tuesday to go to Fort Benning in Georgia to be a M1 Abrams Armor Crew member. That's Brett Sear of Palm Coast who was sworn in at the Flagler County Rotary Club Veterans Day Recognition Ceremony Thursday. In 17 weeks, he'll graduate. Sear says joining the military was a career he always dreamed about having. He has a long line of military history in his family. Probably about like the age of like seven or eight years old when my uncle and everything, I saw what he was doing because he was always he was in the military police. And I just wanted to be someone that can actually benefit and do something with their life. And right by the age of seven, when I said growing up, is right when I made that final decision where I was like, you know what, if baseball isn't where it's at, because I played since the age of four, got hurt couldn't play no more so then i chose the military so i could go about 20 years and hopefully make it 20 years a 17 year old matanzas high school student was arrested thursday after police say he falsely reported seeing a gun on campus john arking reports the flagler county sheriff's office says the male student told another student that he'd seen someone in the back parking lot of the school put a gun inside a car school resource and patrol deputies locked down the parking lot while a thorough search was conducted including the sheriff's explosive detection canine jacks after failing to locate a firearm, a detective interviewed the student who reported the crime, who then admitted he had made the story up. Sheriff Rick Staley said they moved quickly to ensure the safety of students and teachers as they take all reported incidents seriously. He added that while they were grateful it turned out there was no gun, filing a false report is against the law and a waste of taxpayer dollars. The teen was charged with a misdemeanor count of filing a false police report. He was booked into the Flagler County Detention Facility and then released to his parents. John Arking, Flagler's Morning News. The Flagler County Republican Party is welcoming a former U.S. ambassador for its key fundraiser today. Rich Petchke has more. Ambassador John Bolton is the keynote speaker at the event taking place at the Hammock Beach Resort. Public Relations Chair Susan Moya says they're excited to welcome the former ambassador and expect a huge turnout. We have a sellout crowd. We have people coming from all over the state, candidates, etc., and leaders from all over the state. It's my understanding there's somebody from the Republican National Committee that's coming. We have a really big speaker. We have a really, really nice venue. Uh, this is a, a major turn of events for the Republican Party here in Flagler County. Moya says her organization plans to keep the Republican majority through the 2018 elections and ensure re-election of President Donald Trump. I'm Rich Petschke. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.